Wow, Pastor Reg, can you believe we are sitting in the Eustis Campus building? I mean, it's just so amazing. Sometimes we get so focused on the end goal that we forget to stop and recognize the process and enjoy the journey. There's still a lot to be done, but we're already doing ministry here in this building. Do you remember how amazingly God orchestrated the purchase of this building? It started with prayer circles. Oh, I remember it like it was yesterday. We had two prayer circles. We circled the building with about 750 of our members. And I remember that first prayer circle. It was a critical time in our closing on this facility. And soon after that, we closed. I remember it because it was March 2015. That's right. We received a loan from Old Point for $2.1 million. $1.1 million was used to purchase the building, and $1 million was used to stabilize the building. Oh, and let me tell you what God allowed us to do with that $1 million to stabilize this building. We repaired the entire roof. The back wall of this entire building, leaking like a sieve, we repaired it. We did mold removal. We bought an HVAC system and a dehumidifier so the mold wouldn't come back. And look at the front, the facade of this building. It is absolutely outstanding. Those stone pillars really speak to us. That's right. We chose to move with Churches by Daniels to complete the final vision. They are a Christian organization with over 27 years of experience and have worked with over 300 churches. They have a unique approach to looking at ministry requirements and people and how they work together in order to design a church space. They are going to provide us with the master facility plan and we're excited to be able to share that in 2017. Well, you know, Sherry, our church has already begun to mobilize and we're doing outstanding ministry here at the Eustis campus already. We're doing monthly prayer walks and getting a lot of positive feedback from our neighbors. They're saying we can't wait for you guys to get down here. We're praying with our tenants and the businesses, praying for their success and that God would be with them. And we've led numerous, numerous souls to Christ here. We've done numerous tours for our congregation members and we've answered their questions and shared God's vision with what He's doing here. We've had service on the block and monthly corporate prayer services, a leadership meeting, and just recently we had an outstanding men's tailgate event and barbecue cook-off. It was awesome. We've even had a board meeting here. But not only that, Reaching 757 is about impacting both campuses, Denby and Eustis, as well as the entire 757 area code. Do you know we're doing financial coaching for members of our church? We made two visits to the Lighthouse Ministries, which is on the Eastern Shore. We even went to Suffolk this year and had a huge community event for the children and families there. Our church members even donated clothing for that event. And on Armed Forces Day, we went to the VA hospital where men who were spinal victims and women as well who had issues and were amputees and post-traumatic stress disorder, we barbecued for them, we prayed for them, we lifted them up in the name of the Lord. It was an awesome time, Sherry. And all of this is in addition to the outstanding ministry that we're already doing here at Calvary Chapel Newport News, our Peninsula Rescue Mission, our nursing home ministry, our military ministry, our outreach to the homeless and Boys and Girls Club through our bundles ministry. And that's just a few of the things that Calvary Chapel Newport News is doing to affect this community. Red, that is exciting stuff, and I know it's only the tip of the iceberg. We are hoping to move into this facility the beginning of 2017, the first quarter, if fundings allow. Every dollar of those Reaching 757 funds goes to the expansion and build out of this facility. We began our spiritual journey in November 2015, bathed in prayer. We committed to praying at 7.57 a.m. and 7.57 p.m. and we coupled that with fasting. And do you know as a result, 415 families committed to reaching 757 with over $954,000 over a two-year period. As of this month, uh, one year into the campaign, we have given over $453,000. $389,000 of that comes from those of you who filled out commitment cards. $64,000 comes from those who didn't fill out commitment cards but are still supporting the Reaching 757 vision. Do you know, Sherry, that volunteers saved us over $100,000 during a two-month period this summer? And not only that, 
Some of the things that we've already invested in include the purchase of 600 chairs for our fellowship hall. We're painting, we've purchased a lift and a camera, all totaling over $46,000 and we paid land surveyors $10,500. And their task is to get our property subdivided so that the section that we're occupying as a church comes off the tax rolls. We purchased additional AV equipment, toys and furniture for our little ones, microwaves for our cafe, file cabinets and whiteboards, all totaling over $60,000. Tyco Securities has come in and installed a fire alarm system for us, $12,500. Construction costs, $92,500. And that was to build out all the way from our littlest ones in Calvary Kingdom to our adults all the way down to the fellowship hall. And as you mentioned, Sherry, we're working with Churches by Daniels, $30,000 for the outstanding planning and work that they've done for us. But do you know that October was really the time frame that we wanted to move in this year? But funding just didn't come in at the rate as written on the commitment cards. But I promise you this, as money does come in, we'll continue our efforts to build out this entire property. For instance, we still need to get equipment for a welcome center. We need to put a sign on the building. We need to advertise. We need all kinds of additional audio-visual equipment and wiring, which is the backbone to all of this. Of course, with prayer, with much prayer. And it's our giving as a church family that will determine when we move in and the functionality of the Eustis campus. You know, this Eustis campus, Lord, it's just so exciting. Reaching 757 is more than just about a building. It is about impacting the lives here in our immediate community, in the 757 area code, and beyond.